hello viewers welcome back to another tutorial of switcher studio and today i'm going to show you how you can customize and brand your show on switcher studio with the multi view templates and the one we are going to use today is the picture in picture so i'm going to walk you through my screen i hook up wireless mouse to my ipad so i'm going to screen record what i am doing right now so that you don't miss out on everything that i am doing here so i am going to go into giving you example of what i'm talking about so like this this is a church that is in africa that i host them every other sunday here in the u.s and this is like the church information on the right hand side and this is another episode of their program and i i design all these so to get to do this i'm going to show us the example of the image that we are going to use today this is the image that we are going to use and the first thing is you need to plan your display whatsoever you want to do plan your display for the sake of this tutorial this is not like a powerful or a professional background i just designed this for the sake of this tutorial and it's a quick one and if you look over here i have my logo on it and i have branding your show with picture in picture multi view template and the first step like i said plan your display and the second one is design your background so i know quite a lot of us we are very good on photoshop you can design your stuff on photoshop you can use any application that you are comfortable with but for me i always design things on my phone and i use uh, i use app called logo maker so it's a free version that i use on my iphone so you can check it out it's, it's free it's free you can do anything you want so that is what i use to design my background to design my lower third to design anything even png i can design my logo and that is what i use to design my logo and this is a png i designed the logo from there and i bring it out i save it out as png so when you design your background the next thing you do is you import the background as image so importing your background you click on the plus sign and go to image so this is the image that we are using so when i click on it uh, you can spread the edge so that if there is any black border it's going to clean it out then you can bring it in but for the sake of this i'm not going to bring it in because i already have it in my i already have it as asset in my source so next thing when you import your image the next thing you want to line it up so how do you line this up properly before we go into that, I already designed a template that is going to work for this. So, and the template that I designed, so when I activate it here, multi view select. So, I need to click channel A and B. So, the A is usually my background, and the B is the video, which is me. When I bring in the video, this is how it's going to come up. And like I said, I have designed everything, I've adjust everything to fit, of which I am just going to show you quickly. Then from there, I have a lower tool that I've designed also that I can bring in. So when I click on this lower tool, it's just going to pop up on the screen for me. So, and if you look at it right now, this lower tool, I designed everything from scratch myself. And I just fill out the information. I design it with no test on it. I save it. And uh, if you need 
like all these templates just dm me i will i will send it to you there in png format you can upload you can import it into any uh any graphics application or app and just fill out the name on it and save it back to your camera raw as png so if you need it i'm gonna send it i'm just dm me i'll email them to you for free i'm not asking for anything so that is uh the graphics and i'm just gonna let me bring back um this very episode it's the same um lower thought that i use for this episode and I have another episode here. And if you look at this design, you're probably familiar with something like this. When you look at, when you watch CNN, you see on the left side, I mean, on the right side, all the pandemic figures. And that is where I just get the inspiration to design something like this. So um, without wasting much of our time, we're going to go into how we can, how we can, customize this to look like this so how we can achieve this so to get start i'm gonna return back to solo mode and i will own this so the first thing you're going to click on your plus sign and go into the multi view we we'll go to multi view and the one we are using is picture in picture. So when you see the picture in picture right now, this is the default template. So I'm just going to put in my hand to scale things up and you're going to be seeing it on the screen. So I think it's shifted. Let me, let me get out and come back again. Okay. So this is it i'm going to drag it to the middle and i will scale it up so now that i scale it up i'm going to reduce the border thickness so you can reduce the border thickness and you can change the color of the border thickness when you scroll down these are all kinds of um, different things you can do and even if you want to move it left and right or up and down you can use this slider to get accurate movement so but for the sake of this I like to use my hand is it's faster so it takes a little bit of time but you if you are patient so you go out of it so when you click this the image the background image and the picture the video so this is what we are getting so that means we need to move it we need to move it this way and bring it down and probably scale it down a little bit so we go back to edit we scale it down and drag it this way a little bit and we can check it again so when i click on this we can look it up and see see it's looking very very perfect but there is a line here there's a um, thick brown line here that I don't want it to climb so I'm just going to adjust it a little bit and just move it slightly to the left so that I can get it off of that line and we can check it again and see so at least this is a little bit uh, acceptable so this is how you line things up to fit and the next one is if you have any lower third that you design or you can design your lower third in here like i said um, there is a lot of you can use your lower third that Switcher Studio make available for us. But for me, for some reason, I don't just, I mean, it's the whole thing is covered and you can import with this, you can import your logo and bring in 
but I just like to do things like my own way. And honestly, I really appreciate the update that Switcher Studio is doing at every time. It's very, very awesome. But I just like to go with something that is unique to me, is customized to me. It's not something that is, is available or that you can get anywhere. I like to design something that I really want. I'm going to show you another thing, another... Uh, I have a template here that I'm just going to use. I designed this template for a local business client that I interview. So if I'm trying to use this, her own template for my, for my video, all I just need to do, I'll click on her lower toe that fits her, that I designed for purposely for her branding. So, and when I click on it, when I put myself in it, it sits very well. And if I put my name on it, it fits as if it's meant for me or as if it's, I, I customize it for myself. I have her product on the right side. And if I activate the dissolve, I can actually click and dissolve it to another product of hers and from there I can go as I'm talking and dissolve it to another product everything still remain the same the XPD TV still remain the same it's not moving it's just the product that is changing why because I have created that background I'm just gonna I've created the background let's solo it up up and see I've created the background in a unique way that when I just click, it just blend into the other one. So that is how you can brand your stuff or your show with Switcher Studio with the help of uh, the picture in picture. So like I said, if I repeat it back again, it's just gonna come back in and I can put in my graphics, my lower third and just Keep talking and if I need to switch the the if I need to switch the product I just go to um, another product and it just dissolve into it and from there if I want to return back to my show without having to mess things up it's just a matter of coming back to my template click on this and click on my image it just dissolve me back into my original template so yes, so that is going to be the end of this tutorial. And let me know if you find any value in this tutorial today. And don't forget to give me a like. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed, you can subscribe or you can follow me on my account. And if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified anytime that I post another content on this channel. So until when next I catch you up on this channel, be safe. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.